Strategy number one, building your list and relationship. This is probably the most important thing you'll ever learn. You have to build a list of customers and retain close relationships with them. Once you'll start doing this, you'll realise how powerful it can be. You don't have to spend money on looking for new customers because you already own them. Just send out an email to let them know what's on offer. And most importantly, they're your past customers. So they'll be more likely to buy something from you than cold first-time visitors. So how does this work? eBay doesn't offer any solutions for list building, apart from your eBay stores and favourite seller's newsletter, which in my opinion is by far too basic a tool. But the good news is that there is a third-party service which will capture details for your eBay customers, Orber.com. It's a service mainly used for delivering online newsletters, for instance, my Easy Auction Business Video newsletter. But very few people are aware of the fact that it can be effectively used in conjunction with eBay. We won't go into details now how to set it up, but here's how it works. You set up email parser settings in orber.com so that they work with your PayPal email address. Once the customer pays for an item, he will be added to the mailing list in your Orber account. In your Orber account, you can set up unlimited follow-up emails, which are delivered automatically, as well as send out broadcast messages whenever you want. So basically, you'll be able to communicate with all of your past customers with a push of a single button. How does that sound? The best part is you're not limited to eBay alone. You can drive this traffic to your online store or any other selling platform you want. Just don't overdo it with the promotions. No one wants to receive promo emails on a daily basis. Depending on the market, there could be anything between one and four weeks between the mailouts. Strategy number two, you have four hours left. Now you know how to build an email list of your customers. But are there any other ways of asking your customers to buy more stuff? Maybe while they're still hot. Sure there are. If you're serious about your eBay business, you already have subscribed to Selling Manager Pro. One of the main advantages of having it is the customised end-of-auction emails. With the Selling Manager Pro subscription, you can automatically send a winning buyer notification email to the winning buyer or buyers after the item has been sold. Automatically send a payment reminder email after a listing has been closed and the item remains unpaid. Automatically send payment received email when the payment has been received. Automatically send item dispatched email when you mark a sold listing as dispatched. Automatically send a feedback reminder email if feedback has not been received. All those emails can be customised, which means you can write in them anything you want. Well, almost anything. Of course, in some way, eBay still lives in a stone age. For instance, you can't use HTML in these emails, which is really quite a shame. Make sure to use HTML emails with Orber.com. So most importantly, you don't leave those emails as they are by default. Come on, you are given a chance to expose your company's details in five different emails absolutely for free. Why the hell do you want to miss all that exposure? Also, make sure to include the link to your eBay shop in the signatures. One particularly good strategy I use for some of my eBay shops, in Orber, welcome email and winning buyer notification email, include a message like... Thanks for your purchase. Did you notice? Shipping is free for everything in our eBay store. You still have four hours before your order will be processed and dispatched. Don't you need anything else? We can include additional items to this order at no cost at all. Why not shop today? This works really well in markets where people buy a wide range of products on a regular basis, like scrapbooking supplies, video games, paper supplies, stickers, candles, handmade soap, CD media, etc. So if you have free shipping or shipping discounts on multiple items, let your buyers know, and many of them will take advantage of savings if presented properly. Strategy number three, welcome aboard VIP. I simply love this strategy. It's so powerful in terms of ROI, yet so simple and easy to implement. With every order I send out, I include two pieces of A4 paper. Invoice, thank you letter, signed. We all know what an invoice is, but what about the thank you letter? Here's a typical layout I use. As you can see, it's divided into three parts. 
In the top part, there's company details, customer service details and a few lines of a thank you text and a real signature, not a printed one. In the middle part, I say that I have already left a positive feedback and if everything is OK with the order, kindly ask for the same in return. In the lower part, all the action begins. It's my promo part where I promote my e-commerce store and attached discount card. And please pay attention, it's not just a simple piece of paper. This card is made from plastic, embedded with the customer's first and the last name and an identification number, 16 numbers in four groups, just like the common credit card. So essentially, it looks like a credit card. Why all the hassle? Can't we simply include A5 size flyer paper in the package? Sure, you can, and probably you can make some money out of it. But what I'm talking about here is a super trooper strategy with response rates of up to 75% in some markets. This means three out of four customers make a purchase from my e commerce store. Why a plastic card? To put it simply, people will not throw it away. Do you know what happens with more than 95% of flyers people receive in the mail? They go straight into the bin. The rest, 5%, go to the same place after a quick read. It's just a result of all that spam mail we receive in the mail every day. People just don't want those flyers anymore. With plastic cards, it's totally different. People won't throw them away as they see them as something valued. First off, there's their name on the card. It makes them feel special. Secondly, there's a real value. As it clearly says on the card, 10 great British pounds off your first order. Free shipping, 10% discount, or any other message you put there. Not only will they not throw the card away, most likely they will put it in a purse, pocket or in a drawer. Regular exposure to your brand, online shop and business generally. If they do not buy from you on the day one, there's a huge chance they will buy the next week or the week after. Where to get those cards? Your best bet probably will be to look for a local company making ID cards. It costs me just a little over one British pound for a full coloured embedded card. I have signed a contract with one of the local companies and they deliver me these customer ID cards via courier on a daily basis. If you're on a short budget or simply don't want all the hassle with personalisation, you can just order generic cards without customer names for as little as 50 pence each. Just do a search for plastic cards or ID cards on Google. Alternatively, you could buy a card printer and create cards yourself. But this could be worthwhile only with huge volumes, as a good printer will set you back at least for a grand. OK, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Next week, something really special is coming up. For the first time ever, I'll personally help my newsletter subscribers to create profitable eBay businesses from scratch in less than 60 days. Starting with the branding, logo creation, finding a niche market, suppliers and ending up with a pro style template. You have never seen anything like this before, so watch out for next week's newsletter. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Have a profitable auction.